So welcome to a unboxing. Um, I've spent about half an hour setting up the uh, the camera, uh, which is my phone because I don't really do many of these. Uh, but I bought a new audio mixer uh, for the stream, and I thought, you know what, I should show you guys. So I've got myself one of these, um, a Euphoria or whatever, however it's pronounced. Um, either way, we've got four mics input and we have four outputs. Uh, but really, all we're going to be using is the four inputs. Well, actually three, because we're going to be using one of these, which are clip-on mics. And I've got three of these, one for myself, one for Daryl, and one for Joe. So when we're all gaming in the, uh, in the same room, um, it can all go through here. And we can adjust each one here. And make sure that you guys can sound uh, hear us properly because um, we've been using voice meter banana and voice meter potato and other mixers which are software which are not the uh, the best. So let's see what's inside. So we hear you. So we've got some some instructions. Uh, this is what we're saying. We hear you. And we have a box here, which I believe is going to be some more cables. So we have a power supply. Now, this isn't actually really needed, um, unless... So these, this machine does have a uh, phantom power, so I believe that's what this is for, uh, for when you have mics that require power to them, because they do have a... Uh, amps built into this as well and this is what we're going to use to connect it to the PC so it's basically what looks like a printer cable I forgot what the uh, technical word is for this but I'm sure I'll put that on the screen so I oh, know it's a cable you know you know what they look like this is what you really want to look at Rip this open. You get to the nice shiny. So it's it's actually metal, guys, um, and not plastic, which is amazing. Look at that. So I'm a bit warm in here. Um, been moving around and cleaning up and etc. So you can see my sweat marks. But it's nice. It's metal. It looks like it's good quality. Ah, oh, has that lovely, lovely new fresh tech smell. Ooh, they, they, them, them knobs feel, feel quite nice. Got some nice resistance on it. And the buttons are quite satisfying too. Oh, I am quite, um, quite happy with the quality of this. So as we were mentioning, uh, let me get this focused right again. Um, I've not got the best setup for recording this. So we've got an input. Uh, we can use the big um, auxiliary in, or you can use XLR, which is what I have here. Um, so we've got four of them, and we have four gains for each one, and we have a pad and a line or instrument. So I believe we're going to probably be using line rather than instrument because, well, we're not going to be using instruments at the moment anyway. And this is uh, the fourth one, and we have a main in and out, and we have a mixer. So all mics, and what I'm going to be using it for, desktop. So I can put that in the middle, so we've got that 50-50. And then obviously we can hear on the headphones. I'm going to get myself some um, big auxiliary headphones, um, so that I can plug these in and listen to the stream, and listen to exactly what you can hear. Because at the moment, pause it, I have to mute the mics, go on, open another stream, listen to it, and to see if it's okay, which is annoying. Um, I'll ask someone else to do it. Monitor. Um, I'm sure we'll figure out what that does. Um, later on. So the back, we have um, some inserts. Now, again, I'm not an audio technician. <laughs> I know nothing. I've literally learned this in a couple of days watching YouTube videos um, so we have some um, 
inputs here, I believe. No, they have outputs. We'll come back to that. <laughs> These are your, this is your main output. And then we've got playback. We have four playback outputs, which means that you can actually, I believe, connect these to four amps and then you can have an amplifier that's connecting to other speakers. So I've got an amplifier in my living room with 5.1 surround sound and when I get a house I could do that for four rooms. This is the idea anyway. Future proofing. So this is what I was talking about the uh, plus 48 here, Ooh, plus 48 here, which is the phantom power which feeds power to a instrument or a microphone. Obviously, we'll have that off with the. I don't believe these mics need power. No, they do not. Let's have a look. Let's make sure that you can see. No, oh, 48V phantom power. No, these do require phantom power. So, um, this is the reason why we've got this. So rather than having something to like an amplifier and a mixer, uh, I believe this is an audio interface. Uh, but again, I'm just going to be using it for streamers, and I guess if you're watching this video, you're probably going to be um, wanting to do something similar, because if you want to do something more audio, then you will be watching this video, because I do not know anything. Well, anyway. So, we've uh, looked at the bear ringer, uh, as you see there, let's have a look at one of these bad boys, so these are the clip-on mics, Ooh, not the table that my uh, microphone, my camera's, my phone's on, which has been used as a camera. So we've opened it, um, and the instructions have fallen out, no that's not instructions, what is this? Ooh, apparently. It's a warranty card. It's blank. All damage caused by human factors include using the product in abnormal conditions operate. Alright, that does not cover this. Alright, well. I'm sure we'll put that to one side. And what do we have inside here? We have the little clip and the little pop shield. So what a pop shield does, um, it prevents the P's, T's and B's uh, being very sharp, that I do know. So there we are, We've, so the, these are from Amazon, I believe they're about £35. Um, like I say, you need something that is going to be able to uh, provide it power, um, so it's not just a matter of buying one of these, um, and as you see, it's XLR, XLR connectors means that you need some bad boy to plug it into that will not go into your PC however you can get little uh, USB adapters um, obviously and you're using your own sound card on your motherboard which is then going to interfere with other things but if you're not that bothered about actual quality then definitely do that well, and we've got a two meter two meter one um, now I have bought some actual XLR um, extension cards, but I believe they might not have come. So they might be still in the post. Because these was next day delivery, but I don't believe they was. So we have the cable, the microphone even, connected to this little adapter. How does that work? But we should look at instructions, but we don't need them. Maybe, maybe, maybe we do. Ah. 
that was satisfying noise, wasn't it? Who needs instructions? Go on, simple. A twist. And voila! Have a, a, a clip on mic. As you see, uh, these are Boya um, BYM4C. So this is what the mic and audio interface sounds like. I'll leave the links for the products below. And as you can see, I have the XLR extensions for mic 2 and 3 fitted into my sofa for easy access for when Joe and I will around streaming. So for more stream related videos and gaming, don't forget to subscribe. I'll do another video on the software setup in the future. Please drop me a like and a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.